How you doing? Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at adding custom field content to um, the loop for a custom post type. Now in one of my latest tutorials, I've provided the code which enables you to add custom field content within the loop of a category archive page. Um, and in this case, we're adding it to the demo category. But how about if you want to add it to a custom post type? Now to do this, it's pretty much the same solution. We grab this code here, and we need to change the conditional tag. So let's go to the demo site. And we've got a demo site here. We've set up a custom post type name portfolio. Here it is here. And we want to add some custom uh, custom field content in here within the loop. So we just add this code to the functions file. And we change the conditional tag. And this is the conditional tag, is post type archive. So we remove the conditional tag which targets the category uh, demo and we target the post type archive portfolio. So we just add that in there. Then we go back to our post type uh, edit screen. We create a custom post type name key. We add some content to the value field. We update. Go back to our portfolio custom post type archive. And here we have it here. This is the content we added via the custom field value field. So it's as simple as that. There's another way to add the content. We can take the code and rather than add it in the functions file of your child theme, we can add it directly to the archive uh, template for the custom post type. And here it is here. We've got a, a custom uh, post type archive page for portfolio, which is the name of our custom post type. And we can add the code directly to the template. We don't need the conditional tag because it's already targeting the uh, portfolio archive, which uses the uh, WordPress template hierarchy. So we add that code directly there. And we refresh just to test. And here it is here, it still displays. So you can add content to uh, custom field content to each entry in your loop. Um, simply by using this code and using this method. Now, how about pagination? We look here and we have pagination. So we'll test the pagination and that works fine. Now, let's just change the reading settings. The reading settings determine the pagination. So let's say five posts per page. And that removes the pagination because we've only got four entries. So there won't be any pagination. However, we can override this in the functions file for a CPT archive or any type of uh, standard uh, category or any other type of archive. And the way to do that is to use code in the functions file. And in this case, we use code which uses the pre get post function. So we Copy the code from this tutorial. We paste this in the functions file here. Um, the code includes a conditional tag to target the, the post type archive portfolio. We set the limit here, post per page at one. And this overrides the WordPress reading settings, which we set at five. And we go back and test our portfolio archive. And here we've only got one uh, entry per page, so we have pagination now. So this will work, uh, the pre-get post code will work to override any 
portfolio type archive or any standard archive like a, uh, a category archive. So it's as simple as that. Um, all the codes available on wpsites.net under this tutorial, add custom field to Genesis Loop. Uh, all codes supported for members at wpsites.net. Thanks for watching. See you next time on wpsites.net. Cheers.